I felt that there was no better place to learn about politics and to kind of find ways to make a difference in the world. It's, it's something that has so shaped my life and, and who I am that it really just starts influencing how you look at the world and how you think about the world. Public service and international development is something that I intend to dedicate my life to. Should we want to contact the Kenyan Embassy, we can do that. And if we want to have lunch with the Ambassador, we can, we can do that too. I mean, you can't get that anywhere else, really, in, in America. George Washington himself, when he imagined that there would be a, a strong, world-class university in the heart of the nation's capital, what he had in mind was a university that was going to contribute at the same level of great institutions of learning around the world. Every School of International Affairs is dedicated to bridging the academic and policy worlds. We do it exceptionally well because we don't need bridges. We have sidewalks. Just around the campus is the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the U.S. State Department, the Fed, the White House. When you're here in D.C. and you can tell your students, okay, well for today's session, we're going to go down the street and actually see how a program is being implemented. Or today we're going to bring in the founder of an international global health organization. You know, it really goes beyond sort of textbook learning. You know, there isn't this sharp divide uh, between what you learn in the classroom and what's happening uh, in the real world. Students come here by preference because they want to make a difference in the world and they can take all those experiences back and become change agents in their countries. I came to George Washington University to study education and international development. I want to go to school with people from all around the world and have international exposure. That's why I'm here to make a difference in my country. So I was a physical therapist in Ethiopia working uh, with landmine children. I had to engage myself in the political work. Whatever it is, who are burning that landmines, we had to stop them. GW gave me the essential skills uh, and knowledge to talk to players in the international arena. I want to go back to Ethiopia. That's, that's no question about that. And the reason I'm gonna, going back is to make a difference. I wanted to come to some other countries to improve myself in a deeper way. This is a great environment for learning and it's very welcoming for international students. I feel like I grow a lot. Clearly there are lots of international students here. You hear lots of languages spoken. There's an excitement, there's a, a, a buzz that is a very, very visible one and feels very, very exciting. The more diverse the student body, the more diverse the experience that you have. Diversity creates a multiplicity of views. There is nothing more important to being sensitive to what other people's cultures and histories are like. Some view our global issues as a problem. We view these as unsolved opportunities in using GW as a worldwide and lifelong community to inspire solutions and to create and lead. Without a doubt, I feel like I'm educating future leaders, and I'm absolutely convinced they're gonna make a real difference in the world. It's both what we do for our students, and it's what we do through our students for the nation and for the world beyond.